The split end in the Pittsburgh Steelers offense with quarterback Ben Roethlisberger has always had a great deal of success. From Santonio Holmes down to Plexico Burris and up to Mike Wallace, you're looking at a group of players who have always managed to have a high level of production. One of the big question marks going into this season was how Marcus Wheaton, the second-year player out of Oregon State, was going to be able to live up to that standard. It really didn't take him long in the Steelers' week one victory over the Cleveland Browns to show that he's for real, and he's a player that we can expect at, at least a decent amount of production from this season. Emmanuel Sanders last season had six, 67 catches for 740 yards, something that isn't exactly exemplary, especially considering the past production Steelers' split ends have had. Wheaton showed right away in this game that he's got the capability of, of surpassing that just in his second year of playing. It took him four quarters just to, to match his career high with six receptions, and his 88 receiving yards was the highest that he's ever had. We're going to dig into Wheaton's play a little bit here on Steelers Film Room and take a look at what makes him a rising player and a complete player in the Steelers offense. Wheaton made his mark early in this game with about Two minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Ben Roethlisberger gets under center and changes the play, mostly because he's seeing Wheaton in single coverage on rookie cornerback Justin Gilbert. He breaks off the line and just runs a simple fly pattern straight down the sideline. But look at the pass, look at the concentration, and the, the way that he's able to haul in the pass with getting both his feet down in bounds. The way he gets up after this, spiking the ball enthusiastically, it really you get a sense of just how much he needed that play. This is a player that... It really wasn't expected uh, to, to ascend to a very high level, but right away in this game, he shows he has big play potential. The Steelers also had not thrown deep until this play. Really, you're, you're looking at an offense that tried to get the ball to its playmakers in space, and it was something that definitely had worked to that point in the game, with Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown both having broken off plays of 40 yards or more. Wheaton, topped, Wheaton got right in with those players as the Steelers had five plays of 25 yards or more offensively in this game. Wheaton was a big contributor to that, and you can see on this play the athleticism that he has, the vision that he has. He's going to be a very capable player, and this is the kind of play that if the Steelers see that they have that opportunity, they're going to use it more. So look for even more big plays from Wheaton down the field this season. Wheaton's contributions weren't limited just to the passing game either. As you see here on LeGarrette Blunt's seven-yard touchdown run in the first half, Wheaton split off to the right. He's going to jump immediately out to strong safety Dante Whitner, one of the better run defensive safeties in the NFL. Granted, the play itself just seems to be kind of an odd alignment for the Browns up front, but Wheaton is aggressive enough, gets right into Whitner, and basically gives him no chance to make a play on Blunt at the goal line. This kind of effort is something that is expected to Steelers receivers, and while it's easy to say to follow the narrative of how similar it is to Heinz Ward, this is the kind of thing that they expect their, their receivers to be able to do, especially the split ends. Blocking is something that is, is critical to downfield running, and it's what springs big plays. Wheaton showing that the willingness and the toughness to get out there and block a bigger player like Whitner really speaks well to the kind of effort that he's going to give this season. The Steelers ran the ball well against Cleveland, a fairly good running uh, football team. And if they can get this kind of effort from Wheaton and from the rest of the edge blockers on this team, they're going to be able to run as well as they did against the Browns. This last play is a defining example of what can happen when a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page and they're seeing the same thing. Right before the snap, Roethlisberger looks over to Wheaton and motions to, in, in some manner, suggesting to, to run a different route. Wheaton takes something of a, a kind of an angled post route and gets down to the middle of the field again on the rookie corner, uh, Justin Gilbert. In that, Roethlisberger has a little bit of time and fires a perfect strike to the middle of the field, setting up the game-winning field goal. This play was made in practice more than it was in the game. This is something in which both players need to know what the defense is showing them and what they need to do. Roethlisberger didn't talk to the rest of the team on this when he was at the line of scrimmage. He just motioned to Wheaton. Wheaton ran the route that Roethlisberger wanted him to run, and they got the yards they needed to set up the game-winning field goal. It's just a great play and a great uh, veteran series of events for Wheaton in this game. These kinds of things are indicative of a player who's played a lot longer than he has, and clearly he's put the work in to be successful within this offense. It's going to be a good season for Marcus Wheaton. It's going to be a good season for the Steelers' offense, and if they can fix issues that they had in the second half on defense, this team could compete throughout the year. With Behind the Steel Curtain, I'm Neil Kulong.